So, in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing types of storage class in C. We have discussed two types of storage class, auto and register. Now, we are left with two uh, another type that is um, static and external. So, in this video, we will talk about static storage class and out of these four storage class, this is very important. Most of the time, you get question from static storage class in you know, many competitive exam in gate or net or in other competitive exams, right. So, this is most important storage class and I have already posted some questions on my community post previous year gate questions you know, that were using static keyword and many of you answered those questions wrong because you don't know what is the meaning of, meaning of the static keyword, the scope, the lifetime, everything, right. But don't worry everything about the static keyword or the static storage class we are going to dis discuss in this video, right. Every single detail with the help of a program also I will show you. Now let us see what is a static storage class. So I hope you remember what a storage class tells about a variable, four things default value, location where that variable would be stored, scope and lifetime of the variable, right. And how to declare a variable with storage class, first you will write storage class, then the data type and then the name of the variable. So, you will write first static, then data type suppose I am writing int, you can take float, char, string up to you, it is not like that <laughs> always I take int, so you have to take int only. You can take float also, char also, anything you can take, right, like you can take static, char and ch, you can take static, uh, string, you can take static, float, x anything you can take or int you can take right. Now by default, default value of these variables would be for float it would be 0 point this thing, for this null, for this null, for, for int like for static int y 0. So default value would be 0 right, not garbage value 0 fine if you write down static here. Next is location where these variable would be stored in RAM, not in register, in RAM, not in CPU register, main memory. Third thing scope and lifetime, these two things are very important, right. Maybe till now you are confused like scope and lifetime is same, there is no difference, right. Like scope is within the block, lifetime is also till the end of that block, so both are same, but, but, but you will get, yeah, scope and lifetime is different thing and you will get this thing in this video, right. So, here for, for here for this uh, static storage class, scope is within the block, block scope, right, or the method scope in which you are, you know, uh, in the function or in the main function you are declaring that variable within that block only. Local decla declaration is allowed as well as global declaration is also allowed. Outside of main you can also write down like static int y. But for in auto and register you cannot write down this thing. Global declaration is not allowed, only, only local declaration is allowed. Now lifetime is what? Till the end of the program. Scope is within the block only but lifetime is till the end of the program, throughout the program. This variable would be alive and it would be dead after the execution of the program, after the exit from the program only. Now I hope it is not confusing, if it is then let me just take one example and let me just clear this thing. Example of this thing is very important because see out of these four storage classes static is the most important storage class. Almost 95 percent you know questions you will get from this class only in every competitive exam. For, from static storage class. So, this is very important. So, please concentrate here and just you know focus on the example the program I am I'm, you know taking here. I am going to demonstrate the program one by one, you know, line by line. In this program, I am just taking a simple uh, you know function display, right. This is the definition of this function, here, here I am calling this function. So, uh, before that let me just write down the prototype or you can say the declaration of this function void display and that is it, right. Two times I am calling this function in main function in main and this is definition here I am just I am just taking a variable x static int x, right. So, in main memory one variable would be x. 
So default value of this is I am not initializing it. So default value would be value would be zero, not six. It's zero. Next line is x plus is equal to ten. It means same as x is equal to x plus ten. I am just adding ten. So you can write down this thing either you know uh, x is equal to x plus ten or you can write down something like this x plus is equal to ten. So now x value becomes <coughs> ten, right? In printf, x is equal to so now what value would be printed? X is equal to ten, right? Once you know, uh, you know the, when we execute the program from the main function, it would be executed. Then display means we are calling the function, so control would be here, and after that x would be zero. Then ten would be added, and then x is equal to ten would be displayed. Now the next line is this thing. So exit from this, exit from this uh, function. Now back to here where we are we were calling the function, right? So x is equal to ten would be displayed, right? Next again we are calling display. So again control would go to here, right? Next first line is static int x. So this time, this time x would not be initialized again, right? Maybe you will say static int x again. This line is there, so default value of x is. Zero, so it would be initialized with zero again. Then ten would be added, and ten would be printed. X is equal to ten. No, this thing you need to take care. It would retain its previous value. This statement would be skipped. It would not be executed. Why so? Because as I have told you, the lifetime of this variable is throughout the program. Lifetime means. This x is still alive, still alive. It's not dead. After execution, after exiting from this function, x is still alive. Because as I have shown you in the previous videos, like how the memory layout of this program, any application is, some memory segment is for code or you can say instruction. This is for global and static variables. Here we have static and heap. This is the memory layout of the application, right? So this x would be here, here in this memory section. A separate memory section is for global and static variable, right? So it would retain its previous value. It would not be initialized again with zero, right? Or for better understanding, if I initialize it with x is equal to zero, something like this. Or if you don't write this thing, that this also means same thing. The default value is zero. So it would not be initialized again. This statement would be skipped. Because lifetime is throughout the program, so this x is still alive; it's not dead. So this line means you can say it's like a, it's like birth, birth of this x again. But if x is alive, still alive, then why it will take again birth, right? After it will dead, then only it will take birth, na? Yes or no? I hope you are able to relate this thing. So this would be skipped. This line. Now next line is x. Same, ten would be added. So now this time value becomes twenty. So this time x would be twenty. That would be printed for this display, right? Why so? This thing is because the lifetime is throughout the program. But but the scope is within this function only. In this block we are declaring this x. So the scope is within within this uh, uh, block within this function, right? Now what does that mean? If I write here printf x is equal to percentage d and x. If I want to access this x value in main function, so it will give error undeclared x because we are declaring this x in this block in this function. So the scope is within this x. You can access this x within this uh, function within this block. If you write x here, it would be undeclared for the compiler. So it will give error. That's why I was saying scope is within the block only. You cannot access this outside of the block directly. But lifetime is throughout the program till the end of the program. It will retain its previous value, right? This is what the lifetime. I hope you are getting. But see, there is a separate section for this global and static, and it will hold the memory throughout the program. So better to you know uh, you know minimize the use of global and static variable. If it is necessary to use, then only use global and static variable. If not necessary, then avoid using global and static variable because they are holding the memory throughout the program. But if rather than static, if I don't write anything here, it will be considered as auto. 
at this point of time what is the output of this program I am not using this x here x is equal to 0 same x is equal to x plus 10 so it would be 10 so x value would be 10 printed then again for this display again control would be here and this time this x is not static this is auto so it would be again initialized because after this block the lifetime is finished you can say life this life of this x is no more this is dead so again it will take birth so int x is equal to 0 so it will be 0 again so again plus 10 so plus 10 and this time 10 so for this both value for this 10 10 would be printed but if you write here static one time 10 would be printed and next time 20 would be printed this point is very important that it is going to retain its previous value right that's why this is tricky question so that's why almost in every competitive exam out of these four stories class they you know uh, give question for on this static stories class because you miss this point what students do again if they will initialize this value again it will call again they will initialize the value but it will retain its value right only one time the static variable would be initialized and till the end of the program it will retain its value right I hope now you got this program so let me just uh, you know show the output you know even say practical of this thing so let me just create a new file static.c and uh, the same we are taking a display function this is just a declaration and uh, in main I am calling display two times right and this would be the definition of this function we are taking static int x is equal to 10 and x plus equal to 10 sorry and just we are printing the x value right so see rather than x first of all let me just remove this and we are not initializing this thing so by default it will take 0 it should take 0 we will check it is taking 0 or not let me just run this simple program and show you the output here it would be 0 first of all right then 10 would be added and x is equal to 10 would be printed in the first function calling in second function calling it would retain its previous value that is 10 then 10 again would be added and value becomes 20 so x is equal to 10 x is equal to 20 right so this is what static is now if you want to access this x here print f and uh, x x is equal to percentage d and i want to access x in main function right so what it will give it will give error see undeclared x here here in this it is undeclared because the scope is within this block only within this block within this display function only within this function only the scope is within this you cannot access this x in main you cannot write down printfx but yeah the lifetime is throughout the program the value would be same value would remain it would remain its previous value lifetime would be same right uh, sorry lifetime would be till the end of the program so i hope now the difference between scope and lifetime is clear to you these both are different thing not same thing right and if i take here int uh, okay this is fine let me just comment uh, comment this out and if I take here int y one more variable and just int y is equal to 10 and I am taking i y plus plus or just say y minus minus and just print y is equal to okay double quotes and uh, comma y so what y value would be printed let's check this out see x value would be 10 and 20 y value would be first time it's 9 next time it's also 9 because y value is 10 y minus minus it becomes 9 9 would be printed in next function call 
y would again be initialized with 10, y minus minus becomes 9 and 9 would be printed because y is what by default it is auto variable. So, it would again be initialized, again it would be initialized, but static would not be initialized again, right. So, I hope now the static is clear to you guys. Now, here also you can also take like static static and let us say care ch that is also fine. Now, this is global. So, this thing you can access in main function or in any function. So, in display just I am writing slash n and ch is equal to percentage c and c sorry it is ch the name of the variable is. So, we are not initializing it. So, it will not print, uh, print anything ch is equal to nothing is it is going to print. Same you can take here float or string or anything you can take right. So, I will give you an assignment also you just have to answer that question in comment box right. So, this is assignment for you guys this is the program you have to tell the output of this program the same function display we are calling this function I am just uh, I have just taken a for loop here 0 to 3 display I am calling and this is the body of this display this is the definition two variable I am taking x and y x plus plus y plus plus and then uh, we are printing just x and y. So, you have to tell me in comment, comment box what is the output of this program. I hope the everything about static storage class or static variable is clear to you right. And the next video we will see uh, that external storage class. So, now I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care.